Welcome everybody on my channel. This is me playing reading and this is Angel Guidance for Divine Feminine. We're gonna answer on some questions. We're gonna ask God, spirits and angels to guide us, to help us, to tell us what is that, what is going on right now in your situation, what they advise you to go to that path and to don't lose your direction so let me see right now what is that what is going on there I already shuffled the deck I'm gonna do like this one time two time and let me start the higher priestess beautiful card Divine Feminine, you are on the right path. You understanding exactly where you, where you standing. Even if you feel lost, don't worry. You will find the way. You are this higher priestess. You are manifesting your union, this number of two. It's talk that you're gonna manifest that loyalty, that commitment, that union with your, with your Divine Masculine. And you understanding everything because you got that awakening already. You understanding that this is not some some ordinary relationship, that this is twin flame relationship, that this is something deeper, that this is from higher power. You know that this journey it's not easy. But you're represented here as a higher priestess. So angels tell you to stay the where you are and to use your intuition because that's going to lead you on the right path to don't lose yourself. Don't doubt in yourself. You have this. This is very powerful, Divine Feminine. Look at this. Ace of Earth. You're going to get that offer. You're going to get some stability. You're going to walk on a, on a solid ground. You will know for every step what you're taking in front of yourself. That every step is safe. You're not going to scare anymore. You're going to get some chance for new job, for success in life. And also you're going to get offer like engagement or to start commitment to live with Divine Masculine. Something going to happen very good and very powerful. The Ace of Earth, the Ace of the Ace of Pentacles. This is very important card. This is very important. You wanna be very successful. Whatever you're doing in life, you wanna be successful. And if you get any opportunity to work somewhere in new company or you want to open business do it if you feel it that this something can make your life better if you want to start some business if if you want to start some hobby whatever it is do it because angels advise you to follow your intuition and to accept this whatever it is tell yes to this ace of earth for some of you, you already getting that offer from Divine Masculine. You are seeing now that they becoming more serious to you. That they are speaking to you about serious things. You are a little bit like this, almost close to that moment when they are gonna propose you or they are gonna say something, offer you something. And that's going to be very stable and great. Let me see. Night of Fire. So you can deal with very passionate, adventurous person. And this can be fire sign. This fire sign coming very fast toward you. They don't need to be fire sign. But this person are very, very, very passionate toward you. And also, if you're accepting this challenge to start with new business, it's going to happen very fast. 
and you will attract a lot of positive things in your life. Your life gonna change. Many things gonna happen good to you. And if you're waiting, fire sign is coming toward you. With messages, with phone calls, you're gonna start chasing you. As long you are this higher priestess. As long you know how to connect yourself with your soul, how to make that balance in yourself, be wise, and you're gonna get this divine masculine to chase you, to come toward you. You will get that. And for others of you, if this is not fire sign, doesn't matter. This person is coming back. You think they left you? This is not true. They're coming back. You can deal uh, with person who are younger from you, a little bit younger, and uh, there can be age gap. You know, this, this person, whoever this person is, they're so magnetic. You can't stop thinking about them. You can't. This is what you feel. It's, it is all about passion. All about passion. And you don't know how to control yourself in front of them. Even if you are smart and wise, in front of them, you're losing your minds. So be careful about that, Divine Feminine. Be smart, be wise. Be this higher priestess. Control yourself. Learn to understand your soul deeply. Because that is them. Let me see. Do we have some another card? Ten of fire. More fire and more fire. So this fire gonna burn. When they come back, you go, you're gonna feel shocked. Because this gonna bring you a lot. Lot of challenge in life. You're gonna stand in front of everything. You're gonna fight to make that success. They're gonna fight for you. They're gonna be a lot of effort and a lot of actions. So I'm not seeing that any any of you gonna give up from each other. Yes, there, there can be some some difficulties, some problems, like with other people, many other people. But both of you will find a way how to conquer that. How to solve that issues. Let me see. Do we have some another message? The will. Oh my god. Divine timing. This is it. Number 10 again. So if you're seeing on your clock 10 and 10, this is message for you, Divine Feminine. Look, angels send you these numbers. This is message from angels right and angels sending you these numbers so this means no matter what's going on everything will be fine everything will be beautiful and positive and good because this wheel of fortune will bring a lot of things we can't predict when but as we seeing this person coming fast and there will be a lot of actions you know lot of actions and you will feel again alive because this is very two strong cards and this what will happen by divine timing you will be shocked you will be shocked because things what you have been hoping things what you have been manifesting is gonna happen to you and what we seeing when we calculating this number 10 and this number 10 we getting number two so what is that? This is this number, right? Number two. So Divine Feminine, we're getting strong, strong guidance from angels here. Strong, very, very powerful and strong. Let me see. From the Romans angels, what messages we have? Is there any message? Wow. new love this what you're gonna experience with them it is like a new love because this person your divine masculine when he come back you will not believe you will not believe you will say who is this person do I know him do I know her who is this person 
You will think like you are with somebody new. That's where you're gonna experience with them this new love. And there will be a lot of attractions toward each other. Do we have another message from Romans Angels? Let me see. Flirt. These flirtation things are over. So your person, your twin flame, no matter what type of person he was, I mean in his astrologic chart, no matter what type of element, water, fire, air, earth, doesn't matter. Your person has been flirtatious. He has been player. I have to say that. But he gonna stop playing, playing. These flirting things are over. It is over, Divine Feminine. It is over. And look, some of you have been in relationship with your soulmate. And you are ending that relationship to be with your twin flame. Because, one more time, to explain... Your twin flame is represented with this card because he is holding this one, this fire in his hand. So we know, we are seeing that he is coming back and you are releasing yourself from this soulmate, from somebody who was with you in some type of relationship. It was hard for you to release them because you have feelings over them and you always feel like if you break up with that person that they're gonna be hurt but it is time for you to think about yourself whoever this person is even if that's your like a best friend who's spending a lot of time with you and you are like a you don't know what is that like are you just friends or something more release yourself from that because this person because of you have been crying and praying that he will come back and you have been manifesting that they're gonna come back, but you have to release yourself from this. You have to release yourself from, from this person. Because this person gonna be in your life as long you are allowing them to be. And you're always gonna feel them emotions to you. Because that's the soulmate. And it's not gonna be easy for you to release them. If you don't use your feelings toward you. To ask yourself, where is your happiness? What you truly want? Calling in your soulmate. Yes, you seen this card is reversed. So this card telling you to stop to call this soulmate. To release yourself from them. Yes, it can be very hard. And for others, this means stop calling your divine masculine. Because they're going to call you. They're going to contact you very fast. This is a very fast card. This is also card of messenger, right? Let me see what we have here. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation, it is in reversed position. Why? Because what we saw here is that, you know, you you thinking that they flirting, you thinking maybe that they have been met somebody new, that they have new lover, you thinking that, you know, there is a lot of things that you have to disca discuss and, and to, to, to talk about, there have been a lot of fights. This Ten of Swords have, have very deep meaning, this card. So this means that you're thinking that when they come, they're, gonna, they're not going to open up to you, that they're not going to speak through to you. So you, you, you're scared to, to open your heart, to talk with them, to give them heart again. You know, because like a higher priestess, you want to keep yourself in silence. You want to keep yourself in that mystery, you know. But... Yes, if you want to do like that, to don't open it up, then they're going to see you're changing, have you changing, and then they're going to, they're also going to be shocked, and they're going to come toward you very fast. Yes, this can happen. This is good advice from, from these angels. Let me see. Do we have some another card? Is there another message from Roman's angels? It is safe for you to love. Oh, this is so amazing and beautiful. And look, there will be a lot of passion. Divine Feminine, you, you, you 
and your divine masculine attracting each other this is amazing this is unbelievable how much there is love and attraction and power oh my god divine feminine romans angels tell you you're gonna get that wedding so be prepared you're gonna get that wedding and wheel of fortune one more thing also represent ring right so you're gonna get that ring on your hand it's gonna happen this gonna happen it's gonna happen and think about it maybe something will happen for two months something can happen for 10 days something can happen for 10 months maybe something can happen even for two days you're gonna get phone call maybe for two hours maybe for 10 hours so look this number think about these numbers okay this is very powerful and great messages what we got i'm so lucky to get this for you divine feminine if you like this reading just click that notification bell because we manifesting this union this wedding with your divine masculine and with you i pray for you to be happy in life and to get to this wedding i'm so happy for this reading this reading was very amazing uh, thank you for watching for listening if you need private reading you can contact me if you still have issues with that soulmate it is very good for you to get private reading so we can see how you can move forward and what you can do uh, for your next steps okay so you can get to that union the faster and to be happy soon because i really 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 wish that for all of you thank you very much see you next time